Hey y'all, this is Aaron Urban Hillbilly coming after another sneak peek. I'm Frick, I'm Frick. And I'm we're the Hillbillies. And uh, today we have a rare opportunity. Um, we have a uh, Lisa Adamoya. And hopefully I didn't lose this fruit. It was perfectly ripe yesterday. And bringing it in the uh, getting it well, getting to the car, I dropped it and I split that sucker wide open. It was so perfect, but we're gonna try it anyway and see what if it's uh, fit to eat. I hope, hope it doesn't look like it's bad. A lot of times, the stuff the the anonas will turn brown or uh, or uh, pinkish inside. This one, well, like a brownish pink. But this one looks more, more pink. So I don't think it's bad, but we'll find out. Lisa Adamoya. I'm a big Anona fan, y'all. I, I really like them. Anyway, custard apple, San Pablo, oh, San Pablo custard apple, y'all. Insanely good. The best fruit I ever ate. All right. So I like sour sop. It's all right. That's uh. That's not my favorite. Uh, sugar apples are good. All right, you ready for that? Eat it just like a. Hopefully, it's not bad. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. Here you go. <laughs> Lisa Adam Williams. Mm. You like that? Yeah, it's really good. Oh, it's really good. Give that to mom, though. Even though she's been bad this evening. No. <laughs> no, that's not me. That's you. <laughs> you like that? That's good? Mm. I eat this every day. Unless it's not. Oh! Really good. It ain't rotten. Woo! Man. It's just right. And I'm gonna take this like straw. Can you taste strawberry? It tastes like strawberry. Like coconut? A, I don't know. There's no coconut in that. Mm. I'm thinking strawberry shake. Yeah, yeah. strawberry shake. Oh. So good. So good. It's really good. What do you think, Mama? Oh, you just leave it. Look at all that meat left on the girl. You buddy, that. I guess your toes was hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very fresh tasting. Oh, this yeah. is dreamy. Okay. Yeah. This is the first Lisa Adamoya I've ever eaten. Matter of fact, I think this is the first Adamoya I've eaten. Period. This is really, really good. So, if you don't know, Adamoya is a cross between a sugar apple and a cherimoya. And what I find, the seeds in this are bigger than a sh than the sugar apple and the cherimoya, but there's a lot fewer. Now the flesh inside this thing, mm, it's just creamy. No fibers like a sour sop. Really low fibers like a. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I want more. It's very sweet. Here you go. You can have Thank that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you want another piece there? Yes. Go for it. That's a piece for Mama here. Um, yeah, there's no, no real fibers inside to speak of. It's slightly grainy. It's very, very slight. Dry. Very slight. If you've ever had a real custard apple like a San Pablo, and custard apple not not as in from India, because in India they call the custard apple uh, sugar apples custard apples, or vice versa. Who knows who's got it right? But I'm talking about um, a real custard apple is a nona reticulata, 
um, like a San Pablo or a Fernandez. This is very close to that. The San Pablo I thought tasted like a, uh, like yogurt. Very similar in uh, flavor. Uh, anyway, give that in one. Uh, that one was very dry and rainy. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. it's a bad spot? Yeah, it's a bad spot. Well, let me get a little nibble off of this. Good. Man. It's really good. If you were looking for I could eat them for days, y'all. That's a Lisa Adam oil. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to cut you off. What do you say? If you were looking for something for a dessert, then this would be a dessert. It would be a dessert. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, it's something you wouldn't get very often because it's very rare. That's a, well, y'all, if y'all know, y'all been following me any time. You know I've been selling trees for like four years, and this is the first time I've ever had a Lisa Adamoya ever. <coughs> so uh, that's a winner for sure. If you don't, I don't understand how people. There's not more people growing that. I do like it. Uh, it's, I mean, that's top. That's top shelf. It's not a San Pablo custard apple, but it is real doggone close. It's real good. Now, there's other variety varieties out there. I'm working on. I've got some in production. Adam Scheffner with Flying Fox Fruits. Now uh, we're going to be doing some Pet Pat Chong. Um, Adam Moya is also. I know a lot of people like the Dream Adam Moya. I don't have that yet but it's coming so i already have producing lisa um, priestly geffner and pet pack chong out of moya that are already producing um so uh, the future is bright when it comes to anonas i got when sugar apples we got kampong mall we got the giant sugar apple we've got ty lesser we've got nadai We've got, I don't even know. We got, I've got, oh, I've got Grafted Miami Sour Slop. I mean, i got a lot of, a lot of cool Anonas that's going to be coming in the future in the next uh, year or two. Y'all stay tuned. We'll get you hooked up with all the really cool treats. Man, this, this that one is really, really good. Very it? sugary sweet. Uh, I would not, no, you cannot eat. Here, I'm glad she asked that. She asked me, is the skin edible? No, no, do not scrape the skin. Um, and there's a reason why, is because all of your anonas, whether it be soursop, sugar apple, custard apple, adamoya, cherimoya, any of those, they have, they can, the seeds and the skin both contain a, um, a chemical compound in it called ananiasin, if I said it right. And that particular uh, compound inside the skin and the seeds of the fruit uh, is known to cause Parkinson's disease. So don't eat the seeds, don't eat the skin, enjoy the rest of it, you'll be good to go. Um, Y'all got anything you want to add? What do you think? What is Parkinson's disease? That's irrelevant right now. What do you think about fruit? It would be good for um, some I don't know if I don't know if they can hear y'all. Maybe speak up a little bit. So they can. I think they're very yogurty and creamy. I think it's really good. Yeah. They're like a snack, like a midnight snack, like what you do. <laughs> I, <laughs> me? I don't know. What you're talking about. <laughs> I just you do it all the time. Uh, not me. I would never <laughs> midnight snack. He always oh, yeah, does it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my dad used to call it the refrigerator raider. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what do you think that comes up? I think it's like really sugary, it's really creamy, and there's a slightly little bit of graininess, but mm -hmm. other very, than that, very minimal. What do you think, Mama? I thought it was good. It's not like anything I've ever tasted before, as far as these tropical fruits you bring home. It's phenomenal fruit, though. I it's mean, good. It's I, you could really easily burn yourself out on it though, because it's so sweet. It I is. Mean, it's like, wow. It's only one layer of flavor. It's not. It's not complex. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I would. I bet the bricks on that is pushing thirty. Probably. But anyways, we hope y'all like that. Remember to help us out with a like, share, and subscribe. 
We'll see you on the flip.